<sighs> All right, before we even get into this little skit, devs, for fuck's sakes, fix your camera. I literally sat here for like, I don't know, 10 to 20 minutes trying to figure out, trying to click these fucking buttons. Please, if we use the camera, put the option of this little scroll wheel right here. You see, yeah, you see this thing you made? Put a camera option on here. Take off those buttons. God damn it, because it's like really, really poorly made. <laughs> I've been sitting here trying to line up these fucking shits. People tell me to grab it, I grab it. You know, the buttons, you know, there's no line or trail. There's only a line or trail when I'm trying to grab it. And when I grab it, I gotta do, do fucking this. I can't even fucking grab it right now. Take those buttons off. Put them on this little scroll rule thing you brought, you, you made, because this is annoying me. <laughs> A lot. So that I need this to stop. Okay. I have to get that off my chest. I've I've literally just been sitting here for a long time trying to get this fucking camera to set up for this skit, and that, I'm tired of this shit right now. Yeah, I don't even have my voice mic on, so you know, mouth don't move or anything. That's how pissed I am. I don't need to worry about the details anymore. Fix it, please. Just take off all those. Your camera is flawed, it, it's really flawed, and, and I was hoping that would be the thing you guys fix inside of 3.0. I've always had issues with this stupid camera. Like, I know it's cool and everything, but it'd be so much more convenient if it was just on the wheel. Anywho, enough about that, let's get into the actual skit. <laughs> hey guys, what's up, it's Wolf here, one and welcome to my first ever skit inside of VR chat. <sighs> uh, obviously, I can't do... You know skits inside of my house my house is actually pretty small and i'm not gonna be registering studios and shit like that these people go beyond i'm gonna just stay standard of where i can i wish i would have a second person for this really but it's it's annoying <laughs> to set up especially camera like i said the camera's part of that but this is gonna be interesting to see if i can even make a skit out of this if you guys actually enjoy it leave a like it, it will help out and you know get some more people to discover me and help me out with some of these like skits or either help me out with like models and you know different worlds and stuff because I have quite a few ideas of where I want to go with this but it's kind of weird doing it all by yourself and being your only voice actor and actor I would get friends for this but most of my friends don't have VR so that's not gonna work out <laughs> with that said Let's get into the skits. This skit is going to be mostly versus things that we want to say to customers and versus things that we have to say to customers. And most of us who work retail, like me, know we have a lot of things to say to customers. So let's get into it. All right. Last thing on the shelf. Ah. Do I work here? No, I'm just putting random things on the shelf. How about you? How are you? How are you doing? Does it does it look like I fucking work here with this name tag, this Kmart shirt, this Kmart hat, these luxurious jeans? No, I'm just I'm just here to just to throw things on the shelf just because uh, I'm a fucking asshole. Okay, there we go. Do I work here? Yes, I do work here. My name is Wolf, and I will be, you know, helping you today. Do you need anything? You, you want to know which one's the best one? I mean, why don't you look that up before you got here? I mean, there's plenty of comparison videos. There's plenty of, like, sites that'll tell you that. Why do you automatically think I should know once I get here? It, I just walked into electronics. Does that mean I'm supposed to know everything about electronics? Just, just, just pick one. Well, I actually don't know which one would be actually better. Uh, let me go get somebody who will actually know a lot more than me for this section because I don't work here in this area. So I'm going to go get them. 
Huh? Did you just ask me to help you on my break? On my precious time? To help you? No. You, you, you see that bullshit you're having? The door is down there. Take it down there. We don't we don't need that. Well, I, I actually don't need that. Not today. Okay, so this reaction can vary to two things. One, I'm on my break. And I would get in trouble if I did help you while I'm on my break. She'll be right back and she'll be right with you. Some people have to help these people even though they're on break if you know they're confronted just to be professional but it does vary between jobs to where you can get in trouble if you do work on your break because you're you're working on your break offs obviously you're not supposed to be doing anything on your break all right so i'm just gonna say this once which one of you dipshits left the fucking cart in the pet owl. nobody's there I, I've literally been working here for like 20 minutes and nobody's came back for it. Really? Have we not learned to put things back where we found them? I'm tired of pushing every last fucking card back up to the front just because of you people. We're actually not allowed to say anything about this, so he'll fuck me, right? Hey, welcome to the store. I'm gonna need you to do one thing for me. You know that little move you just did to walk into the store? I'm gonna need you to do a 180 and walk the fuck back out. Because I'm not dealing with your bullshit today. So we know pretty much welcoming people varies between jobs. If you're like working on the floor, you'll just have to, you know, communicate saying you guys need any help or stuff like that. Or it's going to be interesting. Like Walmart does. It's just like, hey, welcome to Walmart. Or you just be prompted just to interact or just say hello and ask them how their day is going. It, it really fucking varies between jobs. I'm just going to be honest with you right there. Alright everyone, you've made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys for actually watching the video fully through. I appreciate it. If you guys actually enjoyed it, hit a like. I know it's a little bit awkward and cringe for me because I've never actually done like skits before. And this is my first time. I'll get used to it. It just really takes time really to get used to all this stuff and setting this up and you know, getting all these skits and things like prepared and stuff. It... It's just something weird and new for me, you know, you, you'll never be good at it the first time, and you know, not a lot of people are going to like it. So this is just pretty much like a little bit of a test run just to see, you know, how it feels and, you know, how everybody else feels about it, really. <laughs> but we shall see how that all goes. But if you guys have any more like, you know, little pet peeves that people do in the stores, go ahead and leave your recommendation down there for like one of these numbers. If you guys actually enjoyed it, give me a comment. Tell me what you enjoyed the most or what, which one actually pisses you off the most and what you would say during these situations. With that said, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.